what is going on guys? We are in a pretty cool car. Some of you guys have seen this in the background, uh, I've mentioned in a few videos, but Roush Stage 2 1996. It's a pretty dang cool car. So I decided to go take it out for a drive today because I've not really driven it too much since I bought it. Uh, we got a pretty cool story on uh, buying this thing, but I figured, well, let me go tell you guys about it, but let's go take the car for a drive because I haven't driven it too much. This car has a 4.6 liter two valve, um, so nothing too special, but the I motor is spinning. liter two valve it has pi heads it's got bolt-ons long tube headers uh colder intake throttle body so it's your pi motor setup um that's not obviously not factory because factory this car came with an npi two valve but you know it's now been swapped out with a pi uh, engine my guess is it probably makes somewhere between 270 and 300 horsepower but definitely seems pretty fun so buying this car, um, I actually was up in Rhode Island visiting family with Ashley and uh, I saw this pop up on Facebook in Orlando and uh, at the time Brad worked for me, he was working full time managing the shop um, and uh, I texted it to him, I'm like, yo, this is a good deal. And uh, he was like, yeah, it seems like a good deal. I'm like, I think I need you to like go right now and <laughs> go pick this car up. So it was listed as like no start. Um, which we kind of ended up figuring out why it didn't start, but we'll get to that. But I sent Brad down there, trunk trailer, cash in hand. I actually, I think I just held him or something. And I said, hey, go get it for this. I'm okay with paying up to this. See if we can get it lower. He got a $500 off and uh, it didn't start. Um, so loaded on the trailer, got it back here, hooked up a few wires and it started right up. On today's episode of Andrew's Wiring School, What's that wire, bud? Fuel pump. <laughs> it's gonna be a little rich. They took off the Pro Charger. Missing a little bit of airflow. All right, you're good. I don't know about you, that doesn't sound like rod knock to me. You got oil pressure? Um, so it turns out that uh, someone took the subwoofer out of the back of this thing at some point and cut the fuel pump wires. So we ended up with such a cool car for a really good price. Um, this car did have a pro charger on it at some point and a built motor and a bunch of crazy stuff. But the way I decided to, you know, kind of go about this build was let's just put it back to stock. Let's take out all the junk. There was cutouts in this. There were some electrical wires running all over the place. I said, hey, let's just go back to like stock and then we'll go from there because this car is a really, really cool car. It's extremely rare. This is number two Roush produced in 1996. Has the Roush toolbox, has the Roush logos, has the Roush body kit. Some of you guys might say like, oh, well this Roush car is kind of ugly, right? Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe it is. You could maybe consider it ugly, but um, to me, being a Mustang person, I really like it because it just shows to the Mustang heritage. And, ow. I've never seen a two valve that spins this much. <laughs> it's stock two valve. It's spun a lot. It's got Nitto 555s on it too. So, this thing's pretty cool. It's got side exhaust from the factory. <laughs> I really wish I could keep it. You guys know I'd probably put a coyote in it, but 
you know, AC works, power steering works, the seats are nice, the interior is beautiful. Um, this is just such a clean example of an SN95 and uh, I just, I really haven't seen anything uh, that can really compare uh, to this. You know, the gearbox drives great, it's a T45, rear end, everything's super quiet, silent in here. Um, uh, overall, like this car is phenomenal. I mean, this would be the example to keep for an SN95. I really wish I had some more garage space, otherwise I would keep this car. Um, I do have some info on what we were doing with this car at the end of the video, um, but basically we're doing a waffle on Facebook. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, it's just about filled up. I think there's only 40 spots left, but I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit at the end. But I wanted to film a video on this car before it went away because I, I'm so excited for someone to get this car and hopefully just enjoy it, put it in the garage, give it some, some love, but the paint looks beautiful, the interior is beautiful, it runs and drives great, it also has a return fuel system on it already. So you can go ahead and slap some boost on it, you can slap a built motor, you can slap a coyote in this thing, or just enjoy this, what seemingly is a pretty healthy um, 4.6 liter two valve. I mean, I don't think I've driven one of these in a while that is this happy. I mean, that's, that's healthy. Um, it shifts great. Uh, I'm just really, really impressed with, uh, with that. Uh, we've got the AC going. I mean, that's, that's fun. You can have a lot of fun with that. Um, it's got some aero force gauges up here. Um, it's got a wide band, uh, oil pressure, you know, it's got, it's got some nice little touches. Um, I really do like this aero force gauge pod right up here. Um, but yeah, we're driving over to go get some, uh, some photos of the car, some video, you know, that kind of thing. Definitely going to miss having this car, but you know. guys i hope you liked the deep dive into the roush stage two um if you guys like the video hit the like button please definitely do that for me it helps get the video out to more people if you guys are interested in entering the waffle um, i'm sure it's not going to go on for too much longer it's a hundred dollars an entry um there's only 120 spots but go get your spots uh there's a link down in the description so you can go get entered for that and that's about it. I did mention uh, something about Brad. Uh, Brad does not work for Freedom Parts Outlet anymore. He has moved on to another job. Um, there's no issues there, but uh, I have seen a bunch of comments about that, so I, I did want to address that. But he was the one who went and scooped this car up uh, when I was out of state, and uh, I, I really do love this car. I wish I could keep it, but make sure you comment down below. Get entered if you want to, and uh, yeah, this is uh, my documentation of probably one of the rare SSN95s I will ever own, I think. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.